Hello everybody, Mr. Gazda here. Today we're going to do earthquake triangulation. That will involve us drawing three circles and then drawing an X where the epicenter of the earthquake is. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do it with the um, compasses like this. So um, this is going to be our map here. And our first circle is going to be uh, 2,200 kilometers from New York City. I'm going to use it with draw with a safety drawing compass like this. First, let's look at this compass just a little bit. So, a few things here is uh, you turn this, you slide this, and then a quarter turn clockwise will actually lock it, okay? And you'll put your pencil in either this hole or this hole, I'll call it the left hole and the right hole, and uh, there's a little pointers there. The one problem is if you're measuring to this and then you accidentally put your pencil on this one and draw it, you'll be wrong, or vice versa. So be careful of that, I see it happen a lot. The other thing I wanna point out is that uh, all these measurements here, that's in centimeters, this is in inches, we will not be using those. We will not be using those. We will be using the scale on the map. Every map you have will have a scale. So. Um, the other thing is the center point, if, I don't know if you can see this on here, is there's a little cross uh, hatch right there, okay? Uh, it looks kind of like this if you can't see it, right? But that, set, that right there, that little hole in the middle, that's the center point, okay? So you're, that should always be on zero for what we're going to be doing here. So we, I said we're going to draw a circle that is 2,200 kilometers from New York City. And this is how you're going to do it. So I'm going to recommend that you um, use that you recommend. I recommend that you do it this way. So with these type of compasses, there's hard to really note zero, and all the stuff gets in the way. So the first thing you should do that I came up with is uh, draw a line right on zero that is straight as straight up and down as possible, like this. Okay. So with your pencil, draw a line like this. Then. And I said, we're gonna draw one that's 2,200 kilometers from New York City, which will be, uh, let me say on my scale here, these go by 100 kilometers. So that's right here, okay? So I'm trying to go right there. Okay, so what you do is, get your compass out like this, I wanna loosen this. You put that on zero, that little center point right there. And you see these pointers here, I slide it to Actually, that one, that one won't reach. I have to use the outside one, okay? So I put that back on zero on the left, and I put that right on 2,200, 2,200 right there. Okay, hold it down, and then I lock it. Then I always go back and check to make sure I'm definitely on there, because sometimes the locking process will actually move it. So I'm, there's an arrow right there. You can see that the arrow right there points to 2,200. Then I go and I put this uh, dot right here, right on the dot for New York City. And then I go like this, and then I go like this. I put my finger in there, and this should move freely. So I am using the outside circle, I gotta be careful. I draw it like this. Look, it goes off the page, it often does that, that is okay. Then I come back around like this, and now my hand gets in the way, so I kinda change, and then I, see I kinda moved it, so I have to go back on there like this, and pick this up, okay. And it goes off the page again, again, that that is okay, and now this, is 2200 kilometers from New York City and in that case uh, this earthquake was um, the seismic station Tolba gave us uh, information that indicated it was 2200 kilometers from New York City that's one circle and typically what you'll do is you will draw three circles to find the epicenter of the earthquake to save some time I uh, did three circles in this case I'd made them different colors so they stand out a bit okay and then the question is uh, we're going to draw where the earthquake is. It's where they all three of them meet. Now, oftentimes the case you don't see they don't meet perfectly. Okay, you estimate where the best place where they meet is, and the best place is somewhere in here, right? Where the three of them all meet is somewhere in there. So I'm going to draw my X like this. Put the center of my X in the center there, like that. There we go. That's what we're doing. I'm Mr. Gaz. Thank you very much for watching.